Welcome back. We are here looking at the cryptocurrency market, and this is going to be my daily forecast for Monday, May 31st, 2021. If you like to support the channel, you're welcome to hit the subscribe button down in the corner, hit the like button and the bell button to see our newest videos, and we'll start by looking at the Bitcoin. And as you can see, this has been going back and forth for the last two weeks. After this massive drop here, we rallied, dropped back down, rallied, and it has been looking very skittish, uh, to be very honest. This is the daily chart, and we can see that we have a crossing here of the 20 exponential and the 200 moving average. That is an indication of uh, that's a very bullish sign, to be very honest. The last time we had the crossing, well, you have to go all the way back to that's basically May last year when we had the crossing to the upside, and it has been rallying ever since. So if you look at um, technical Ganesh, we can see that uh, MACD is still in negative territory. It's just on the signal line. My stochastic is bullish. CGI is still a negative, and uh, so is the RSI is basically flat at this current stage. So 200 moving average offered resistant. We rallied up towards that point, broke down, and it may well be the case now if we rally up towards the 20 exponential that we will get rejected there. That could mean that we are going to see this tumble even further um, in the next, well, in the foreseeable future. If you look at the weekly chart, we can see that we are still... Um, the MACD is still crowded way underneath the signal line um, and it's very bearish. So long term, long term trend for Bitcoin at this current stage looks bearish. And um, if we break the 50 moving average here in the weekly chart, then we could, we could actually be looking at a drop towards the 200 moving average at down at 12, the 12K. So a massive drop, but 30 has to be broken and the 20 has to be broken in order for that to happen. Um, I would, it's not impossible. Um, last time we had this major breakdown was back in 2017. We rallied up towards 20,000 from give or take, uh, give or take to 1500. And then we lost half, it lost half of its value in one week, rallied up towards half, and then the rest of the year, uh, basically next uh, year and a half, it fell all the way down to the 200 moving average. So we may well see this occurring again, where this will basically drag out into 2022, all the way down towards um, the 200 moving average before starting rallying again. So that's how it behaved the last time. That's no guarantee that it will happen right now, but these moves resemble fairly uh, what happened back in 2017. So let's look at Ethereum. So Ethereum is holding, uh, we need to look at daily chart first. It is, it dropped towards the 200 moving average, didn't really hit it, but found massive support down here at 1700, rallied up towards the 20 exponential and then got really heavily rejected um, last week. We had a rally um, on, on, on on Sunday, but uh, now when the market opened again late this Sunday night, it is uh, well basically looks like we're going to continue dropping. So we may see something going like this back towards the 200 moving average. If the 200 moving average breaks here, then we're probably looking at the drop towards 1,000. So if you look at technical indicators, they are fairly bearish. The MACD is bearish. The R uh, the stochastic is flat. CCI is bearish, and RSI is flat as well. Looking at the long-term trend here, we can see that the, we did break below the middle of the bullish band. This probably got significantly oversold here, and then it bounced back. But we did bounce back. And as long as that is the case, this could be trending to the upside. If we break below here, then we could drop all the way down to the 50 moving average, and then probably all the way down to the 200 moving average down at $500. So let's look at Cardano. So, um, yes, the weekly chart for Cardano, we can see that we are still above the signal line here in the MACD. So long-term trend is still bullish and uh, stochastic is very bearish in the, in the long run. CCI is flat, RSI is flat. If you look at the daily chart, we can see that it is holding on quite steadily. It has been basically trending sideways. So we found the bottom of the bullish band here roughly at, uh, at $1. That was massive support. And the, middle of, and the middle of the bullish band was also massive resistant. 
So we've just been going back and forward here. Technical indicators for the daily chart are, well, they're mixed. MACD is bearish, the stochastic is bullish, the CCI is bearish, and the RSI is flat. So let's look at Litecoin. So uh, we can see that we are hovering right at the 200 moving average. We have failed to break above the 200 moving average and stay above there. We did break above and then pull back. And now we're trending underneath the 200 moving average. We can see that the MACD is, um, is, um, is bearish. The stochastic is, uh, is flat. The CCI is flat and the RSI is flat as well. So if we take out this candlestick here, which is at 118, we'll probably drop towards 100 and then probably significantly lower, probably all the way down to the previous levels here at 3050 level. But if we rally above the 50 moving average, then we're probably going to see this go back towards the previous highs, um, uh, got from, give or take $400. So let's look at the NEO. So very similar here, we did break towards the 200 moving average and now we're trading uh, roughly at uh, 52. So still really high considering where we were at the beginning of 2020, we were down at $14, rallied all the way up towards 138 and then just collapsed. So. Yes, this is the Chinese uh, Litecoin, or not, not, not the Chinese Litecoin, but Chinese Ethereum, as they call it. And uh, it's probably the reason why this has been falling this uh, heavily is because the Chinese are cracking down on cryptocurrencies. And um, if this basically breaks down 200 moving average, then yes, we could see this drop towards uh, 25 and then basically towards the previous levels where we started at 2021. So... Let's look at the Dash. So Dash is still trending underneath the 200 moving average. And uh, at this current stage, we are trading at 184. Technical indicators, they are fairly mixed. The MACD is bearish, the stochastic is flat, CCI is bearish, and RSI is flat as well. So it looks very similar to, to Litecoin. If we don't manage to break above the 200 moving average and we have a crossing here of the 20 and the 200 moving average, then we could see this uh, drop back to previous levels, which used to be around the 60, you know, well, 60 all the way down towards uh, 30 in that range. So this has been on a roller coaster and it looks like long term perspective for uh, this uh, cryptocurrency is that we'll drop first towards the 50 moving average here again at 138. And if that breaks, then we could drop towards 100 and then the bottom here at 72. So let's look at Dogecoin. Yes, weekly doesn't really make much sense here. So this completely died. Um, so this looked like a pump and dump and um, it was basically hyped that it was um, running the show here and uh, apparently it worked so a lot of hype and when people were basically received the news that this was basically a farce from elon musk this just completely collapsed we have a crossing here with a 20 and a 50 moving average uh, indicating a bearish uh, a bearish uh, signal and if you look at technical indicators, we can see the MACD is bearish, the stochastic is flat, CCI is bearish, and the RSI is flat as well. So I'll break below these candlestick here at the 0 0.24, could open the door to the 200 and 0 0.11. And after that, well, um, it's not looking very good for Dogecoin. So uh, yes, not looking very good. If we break below, above the 50 and 20, then we could head back towards the 0 0.50, but is not looking very good at this point. So hope you find this helpful. You're welcome to support your channel by subscribing, hit the like button, the bell button to see our new videos. And uh, good luck and thank you very much.